Ecclesiastes 12.13 says, The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep His commandments. What does it mean to fear God? Well, when we enter in as born-again believers through the blood of Christ, it means that we are to revere our Heavenly Father and respect Him. He is the one where all things exist. By Him and through Him, all things exist. And we know that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And nothing was made that was made except by Him. And so He is the source of life, light, and the source of everything that we see. So we need to be willing to respect our Heavenly Father for just how powerful, gracious, loving, merciful, um, justice, omnipotent, omniscient, and all the rest of His attributes. We need to respect Him for who He is, for He is all of these things. Secondly, we need to be willing to have a heart that desires to obey the commandments. When we don't have a desire to obey the commandments, it's like those who are rebellious against the law in this life. Those who are rebellious against the law will ultimately be locked up in prison, and worst case scenario, um, they are sentenced to death by the death penalty. Likewise is sin. The Lord is long-suffering and patient with us, and with different sins come different consequences that may last for a few minutes, it may last for a few days, weeks, months, years, but the ultimate death is when we are not found in Christ because we have chosen to, to walk in disobedience, which ultimately is in our will and doing it our way and staying in our sin. That ultimately leads to the death penalty. And what's the death penalty? It's hell and damnation and the lake of fire. And this is eternal. And it simply put, it is a place where the presence of God is extracted. It no longer is there. And so what we need to be willing to do is to fear God. And we need to be willing to obey his commandments. Because when we obey his commandments, when we're found in... in um, his family when we obey his commandments we show God our hearts desire that we want to please him that we don't want to go the way of our sinful desires anymore we understand now the destruction it has and we know that we are not good in ourselves but that Christ paid it all on the cross through the shedding of his blood by the um, atoning sacrifice that he did as a substitution as well as um, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, representative for our righteousness. So we need to be willing to obey the commandments. We're not going to do this perfectly, but our heart's desire will begin to change us by the power of the Holy Spirit. When we desire to obey the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit is able to work through that heart because we're not suppressing the flow of the Holy Ghost. We are opening ourselves up to having more of the Holy Spirit because we want Him to ultimately rule through our lives. Because we ultimately can't do the will of the Lord and obey Him unless the Holy Spirit is there. Now this doesn't mean that people outside of Jesus Christ can't do good. They obviously can do good. But we're talking about a heart that does good because it's what the Heavenly Father desires and says. Because once we get to heaven, we're not going to be judged for the action. We're going to be judged based upon the motive. And there's going to be a lot of Christians out there who may have done the right things and done a lot of good, but they had wrong motives. Because maybe they desired internally that secretly they wanted to be seen. Oh, I hope so-and-so is seeing this. Maybe they'll show interest in me. Oh, I hope I get this certain amount of likes. Then people can know that I truly have a good heart for humanity and so forth. We need to have not only a desire to obey with the action, but a desire to have that proper obedience through our motive. And so the only way to begin this process of obedience is just as Ecclesiastes had laid out, it, 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 he said that we need to fear God and obey his commandments. We can't obey the commandments unless we fear God. And when we fear God, we can then obey the commandments. So when we fear God, we show reverence and respect towards him and we want to um, follow his will and we understand just how mighty and powerful and awesome he is and we choose daily to die to self so that we may be able to
to follow Christ, whatever that may look like, but we are not going to choose a lifestyle of rebellion and living in habitual sin. Rather, we will pursue down the road of holiness through sanctification as we are made righteous by the blood of Christ. So may we continue as born-again believers to walk throughout this life fearing the Lord, but also desiring to obey His commandments, and in the middle of that, which connects the two points, trusting in the Holy Spirit that His sanctifying work and the power from the Holy Ghost will work in us and through us to change us, to be able to have this mindset of fearing God and the actions and motives towards obeying His commandments.